Hey, what's up, everyone? Joy Allison, Venus, and Abroni here. Ready to review another episode of MLP FIM, or should I say, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. And the next winning episode is. You already see it in the title and on the picture. We're reviewing 28 Franks later. The next loaded episode on here. So, yes. So, without further ado, let's get to voting. And thanks, guys, for any of you who've been voting on my Google+. Plus. There's been lots of people on Google+, Plus voting. And I hope some of those people, at least some of those people, are you guys. Because this is mainly for your opinions on what I should do. So, thanks again for the votes. And I've been getting some new subscribers lately. Welcome to the channel, guys. From Google+, Plus, who kind of like these reviews. So, what is it? Welcome, you guys. I hope you enjoy some of the other content on my channel. Without further ado, let's review 28 Franks Later. <clears throat> Anyways, this episode starts off with flutters in the dark ever-free forest. That's not even scary anymore. No, seriously, this place last time being scary as a season four premiere. What the heck, Hasbro? Seriously. Anyways. So, next thing you know, we got a nice creature running around, and it appears to turn out to be Rainbow Dash, breaking the living heck out of Flutters. But Fl Rainbow Dash! Rainbow Dash! You dick. Why? I'm triggered by this. I can see why a lot of people, uh, even me being a Rainbow Dash fan, I can see why a lot of people hate her as well. Rainbow Dash, you need to have so much fame in from the fandom, or so much hate. I think I just figured out why she's the one who's getting grinded in cupcakes. Because the people who make cupcakes hate Rainbow Dash. <laughs> That's why. So they make Rainbow Dash's Pinky's victim in that story. There's no other explanation for it. And I mean, seriously, Rainbow Dash, it's your, you're, you're the one getting chopped up for that reason. Anyways. Hmm. Woo! Why am I getting so tired? Anyways. So, next thing you know, I'm with his name, Flutters is going off like, hey, that was not right. I was legitimately scared that I was going to get killed in the Everfree Forest. And Rainbow Dash be like, was like, oh, don't worry. It's all fine. Um, Flutters is like, no, it is not. Stop it. So they go to the table of friendship. Or that one table of the map inside of what is it? This Hasbro toy playset thing for My Little Pony. That's all it is. Not like Twilight's Castle or something. Anyways, so next thing you know, Twilight and the others are going off about hey, you need to be careful who you prank. You know, not everybody enjoys these kind of stuff. And Rainbow was like, hey, and it's like Twilight gets a whip because you're praying. Ha 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 ha. And then the others is like, what is it? And Rarity makes use some bad wording for Rainbow Dash, but Rainbow Dash should have understood what she meant. And Rarity's just like, you know what, darling? You should, you sh if you're not going to make the effort to pull a prank that every pony can enjoy, get the fuck out. So, anyways, lunch. Um, what is it? so yes, and that means Rainbow Dash takes the wrong way and thinks, hey, I'll put more effort in my pranks, and then they're just like, why? So practically, Rarity be like, darling, or uh, it's like, darling, why, why can't we resolve the res uh, resolve the situation before thirty minutes, darling? And we're just like, oh, sugar cube. You know we gotta wait 30 minutes before we resolve the situation, or else it's not a full episode. They'll be like, okay. He was like, I know how long the episodes and the movies are, because I break the fourth wall. Anyways, let's go on. <laughs> so Rainbow Dash starts pranking the living heck out of the town, starting with Rarity and Sweetie Belle, with the uniform on top of the cake. We never even see what happens if the uniform is taken off the cake. I was thinking, Rarity, use your magic to take down the uniform, but you know what? I just realized... What if the prank is that the cakes are explode on top if you move the uniform? And it'll get all over the uniform. So, Rarity tries to make another. Well, this is probably one of my the, my favorites. 
The sewing machine cake. How did Rainbow Dash have the time to make a sewing machine cake? I mean, seriously. And the cake that she put the uniform on top of. All before Rarity and Sweetie Belle get home. And whatever they were doing. Also, Philly Scouts. Or Philly Guy. Pretty much the Girl Scouts of Equestria. Confirmed. I must like Girl Scout cookies because I really do. Especially coconut. What's funny? My mom really hates coconut. But I really love coconut sometimes. I just love the crunchiness. The crunchiness and all oh, the flavor is so delicious. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> so yes, and then to find out it was indeed Rainbow Dash. I mean, Rarity got a note saying you asked for it. Who else would it be other than the um than the angry Rainbow Dash? Who consider uh, who considered what Rarity said suddenly as she's not putting up an effort for so of course Rarity was the first victim. You asked for it. Anyways, next she prank. Wait, who did she prank next? I can't. You know what? I don't have to say who she pranked next. Let's just go with the fact that she's pranking the whole town. And some of these pranks are actually pretty freaking dangerous. I mean, seriously, what if you smash Big Mac with that freaking huge boulder that that dragged him down the hill? What did you do with the apples in the car? Did you crush them? That's a lot of hard work down the drain for him. Seriously. Really, Rainbow Dash? What if Mr. Cake broke his teeth on the brick that you put in a sandwich? That's not a prank. That could actually injure his mouth. I swear. The one thing I did find funny was uh, her prank against Spike. Oh, wow. Celestia drowned in the letters, Celestia. It's a pool of letters. I hate that, uh, I, I think I feel Celestia on that one. <laughs> it's like, what the crap? Where are all these letters from? What the? What? <laughs> Find out they're almost all empty. <laughs> but, yeah. So, anyways. Next thing you know, after all these pranks, uh, was it the town all goes to Pinkie Pie? Who apparently has does have connections with Rainbow Dash. On basis, on uh, basis of pranking, or did I just word that right? Did I even word that right? Anyway, you guys know what I mean. Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie are known for both, uh, are both known for uh, being real good pranksters. And Pierce Pinkie Pie got pranked too, but she actually loved the prank. However, they're asking Pinkie Pie to tell Rainbow Dash to stop. They want Ray, uh, Pinkie Pie to be the one that puts up the giant stop sign and says stop. You need to stop. It's time to stop. Look at the time. Stop. So yes, Pinkie Pie has a job, and she almost has a few troubles every now and then. But apparently, Rainbow Dash now is telling Pinkie Pie about her next latest prank. These cookies that turn everybody's mouths into rainbows. Hey, I want one of those cookies. She's gonna place all the Philly Guide cookies with the Joe cookies. Make everyone's mouths rainbow. And honestly, this prank can't go too long. Of course, right now, you know. Mm. So yes, eventually, uh, Rainbow Dash was expecting Pinkie Pie to help him uh, uh, switch all the Joe cookies, uh, all the Philly uh, Philly Guide cookies. They're called Philly Scouts, because why not? It's all the Philly Scout cookies with uh, what is it? With the Joe cookies. Pinky never showed up. Rainbow Dash goes to the sugar cube corner, in corner to see what's up, and Pinky's apparently sick, and she's really desperate for more of those cookies. I legitimately thought something wrong was with Pinky. I legitimately thought. I, I, I mean, seriously, some people may see things in from a mile away. For me, no. I just enjoyed the episode. I was like, wow, Pinky's really freaking sick. I don't usually make predictions. Like, I wonder if this is gonna happen. What if this gonna happen next? No, in my reaction, I'm just like, eh. So, anyways, um, next thing you know, I uh, was the day start handing out all the cookies. CMC, all right, uh, CMC, Philly Scout, 
CMC Philly Scouts. I'm joking. Yeah, they got those two deals. Oh, I can't yell things like that. Does that make no sense? But seriously, these, 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 these little ponies, they look so adorable as freaking like little Philly Scouts. Oh my god. Good job, Hasbro. Good job. I really like the designs. I mean, there's not, not too much different from the regular designs. I mean, seriously, just the hat, the uniform, and all that. It's like, oh my god, yes! See him skate your Girl Scouts. <laughs> I mean, I was in Boy Scouts once. Uh, but now I'd use my time for videos. Sorry. But I still enjoy Girl Scout cookies. And Boy Scout popcorn sometimes. Both are actually pretty good. Anyways, moving on. Rainbow Dash apparently. Uh uh uh. Screw Lou wanted Rainbow Dash to help him uh, sell the cookies alongside um um. Rarity and Sweetie Belle's sister. Or what is it? Apple Bloom and Ra uh, Sweetie Belle's sisters. Um, Apple Jack and Rarity. So as these three go on a nice little trip to deliver cookies, having a nice time. What do you expect? And Applejack and Rarity don't see, oh, nor the CMC seem to notice Rainbow Dash's constant maniacal laughter. Seriously, how do you not notice that? If someone was just laughing constantly, I'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Will you shut up? <laughs> shut the hell up. Wait, no, no, no joke. Wait, just shut the hell up, please. I mean, seriously, Rainbow Dash, we, we get it. You're funny? I was like, wait, what is she laughing about? <laughs> so eventually they get undone and Rainbow Dash is almost busted by them about what she's doing. She decides to go check on the town to see why it's so quiet. And then we get zombies! Cookie zombies. Well, guys, it's official. The zombie apocalypse has hit Ponyville. Everybody grab your OCs, put on your army helmets, get your shotguns. We're gonna walking uh we're gonna walking dead it up in this bitch. Let's go! My OC's got his gun. Game bits. My girlfriend's OC's got her gun. There we go. Let's go. Gun sounds. But no, seriously. Uh, they all the rainbow mouths, and apparently they all eat the cookies, and they are hungry for more. So Rainbow Dash and Applejack are all off to go. Oh, uh, what is it? Um, eventually find out about this, and they're all running away from the cookie town, the uh, town cookie monsters. Jeez, this is the cookie monster of steroids here, but so many of them. Jeez. Cookies. 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 Oh my god. You know what? No, I have to my OC on that night. Because my OC was in Ponyville. He ate some cookies, and he was a part of the prank. Now he's with the rest of the town. What? You guys didn't see him in the episode? I'm sorry, guys. I, I thought I thought you saw Game Bits in there, which is my OC's name. Sorry, guys. Oh, I must have been in a video game then. That's right. I was I was visiting Kirby's Dreamland at that time. Sorry, guys. I was having a nice time on my Game Boy when we all delivered those cookies, CMC. Can you deliver some more? Anyways, so yes, eventually they find themselves in a warehouse, and they are bunkered down. CMC, Rarity, Applejack, and Rainbow Dash are all hiding from the ponies of Ponyville. Who would have thought? With all the cookies inside there. Yeah, that will attract all the freaking cookie monstrous, obsessed on drugs, zombies coming for your face. Yeah. Let's have all the cookies. I mean, yes, sure, Rainbow Dash says we go in for the effects that we're off. But to keep yourself safe, why not just dump all the cookies out so that way you can distract the zombies? Otherwise, they're still coming for you, which they definitely are. And they're trying to bust through. So, what is it? Um, half the main six and the CMC and the, uh uh, what is it? Barricading the doors and the windows and everything. While all the zombie crazed ponies who are going for cookies. Are about to break in. Holy crap, this is the zombie apocalypse in Ponyville. Walking Dead. Oh my god, except we don't have all the story of Walking Dead. I need to catch up on the show. Don't spoil me, guys. 
I'm almost done with the last season. I need to catch up. So if you guys are also Walking Dead fans like me, I still need to catch up. Don't spoil me in the comments below. Don't. Anyways, guys. So, yes. Next thing you know, um, what is it? Mm, well, uh, apparently Rainbow Dash starts confessing. And then Rary Applejack apparently already ate the cookies and so have the CMC. Rainbow Dash is the only one left and trying to keep the cookies away from the cookie crazy zombies. But eventually, Rainbow Dash, after confessing that, uh, 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 saying that, what was there a bunch of things, you know? All of a sudden, the town is okay. And it was all one massive prank by Pinkie Pie. Our favorite pink pony of the show. The one representing it all. The one that breaks the fourth wall. Just plan this entire prank on Rainbow Dash. Involving the entire town. And why wasn't my aunt seeing ghosts? Anyways, guys. So, yes. What I think about this? That is awesome! That is a good way to get somebody back. I can't believe you got the entire town to do this. Except for my OC. But, yes. Wow. Wow. Mm. Yeah. I'll say this much. Rainbow Dash got what you deserved. Oh, yes. So, eventually, Rainbow Dash learns the moral of the story and decides to prank even harder. Ready to be like, darling, it's been half an hour. We should have this moral done by now, teaching kids what to do and getting off the episode. She's like, uh, I was going to say, Sugar Cube, it's Rainbow Dash. What do you expect? Have children up. They're like, fine. So, yes. So, yes, I think you like. Oh yeah, the episode is almost over. I can see it down the time bar below for daily motion. <laughs> Anyways, so yes. And we get the moral of the story and there we go. Thanks so much yawning. Back to doing the day. I hope y'all enjoyed this review. You know, this entire episode it's definitely not definitely not the best, but definitely not the worst. It's kind of that normal episode just out there. But there's a lot of outstanding episodes in Season 6 that have their own unique charm that I really liked in Season 6. And I can't wait to review more. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Google+. Take care. Bye.